We are going to see how we can use the Simpsons rule with n is equal to 6 to approximate this integral, the integral from 1 to 4, square root of ln x dx. Here is the graph, and we are talking about from 1 to 4. And this is the region now we want. And for Sn, the idea is that we are going to use parabolas to approximate uh, uh, the area. And it's kind of hard to draw, so let me not do that. <laughs> but we do need to know what's the delta x. First of all, we want the n to be 6. And delta x will be b minus a over n. Right, that's the formula for delta x. This is my a. Anyways, b is equal to 4. Minus a is equal to 1. Divided by n is equal to 6. So you do this, you do that, you get delta x equals to 0 0.5. So what that means is you are going to start off with 1 and you go up every 0 0.5 units. So the, the, the first number is 1, the next number is 1.5, the next number will be 2, the next number will be 2.5, the next number will be 3, the next number will be 3.5, and then finally you reach 4. Here is the formula for the Simpsons rule. It's delta x over 3 times the whole parentheses f of x0 plus 4 times f of x1 and then 2 times f of x2. Um, this is 4 times f of x3, 2 of f of x4, 4 of x of x5, and 6. The, 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 six, the last one is f of x6, that's all. Just remember, the first and the last has to be with a coefficient 1, and then in the middle, you have the 2, 4, 2, 4 alternating. Okay? So the way I look at it here is 1s, 4s, 2s, and then 4. And sometimes you may end up with a 2 in the middle, it's possible. But then just remember the setup. Write them down. You have to really make sure the n is 1, 4, and then 2, and then 4. Okay, so I just need to figure out what's what, and that's pretty much all. x1, I mean x0 is the 1, which is the first number that we have. That's x1. And then x1 is 1.5, x2 is 2, x3 is 2.5, x4 is 3, x4 is 3.5 and x6 is 4 and I just need to plug in these x values into the formulas that's all I need to do and I have to figure out what's f of 1 f of 1.5 and let's just do that quickly on the top here. so we graph this equation and you see that we have this graph go to second calc and then we choose the value and we worry about when x is I need to know the y value. So I press x is equal to 1, and I get the y value is 0. So that's how we get a 0 right here. And then I need to know what's f of 1.5. Well, I can just overwrite it. Just type in 1.5, and then I can hit enter. I get that for the y value, which I wrote it down right here for you guys already. And then I can do the same for f of 2. All I want to do is just overwrite it by pressing the 2, and I get this y value. Can I wrote it down already? And that's pretty much all you can do. And then you just need to feel, uh, do the rest right here. Don't forget, for the middle part, you have to do, for example, this one, 4 times this number. And then for uh, this one, you have to do 2 times this number. And then just a lot of computational steps. Just a calculator. Add this up. And then at the end, you divide it, you, you multiply by 0 0.5 divided by 3. This is the answer that you get. S6 is equal to 2.631976. 2 okay?